Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. We're in part two on our series, Outdoor Sump Pumps, The Basics, part two. All right, so this is an indoor sump pit, which we do not recommend. And we have a failed check valve. And what's happening with this failed check valve, when the pump shuts off, the water that's inside the line runs back into this pit. The water then rises as it's returning back into the pit from the discharge line, and that keeps turning the pump back on. I thought this would be a really, really good demonstration to take this felled check valve that we came across out in the field when we replaced a burned up sump pump in a small indoor unit that was used outdoors that should never have been. We don't recommend using an indoor sump system. The guys that do sell these, look at this, this failed check valve is letting all the water come back in. This pump keeps running. So you have this very limited, very small sump pit for the outdoors. When the check valve fails, it's going to turn the pump right back on. The water is going to run out of the discharge line. So there's 100 feet of discharge line on this. And this is a demonstration. We have a failed check valve from a job that we took out, an indoor sump basin, which we do not recommend. Always use an outdoor sump basin. But we took a failed check valve that burnt up a pump, and we went ahead and we replaced it with one of our outdoor systems. So this right here is why we don't use a check valve. So in this part two outdoor sump pump systems, I wanted to cover a couple of things. One, you never want to use an indoor basin. Indoor basins, very small, very limited. See how the water's coming back from that discharge line? Pump has to run, pump it out again. It pumps it back into this discharge line. This discharge line in this demonstration it's a mock-up of us pumping water out of the backyard and pumping it out into the front yard. It's 100 feet of discharge line. When it shuts off, the water in the discharge line runs right back in because of the failed check valve. Now, we don't use check valves. That's what I want to get across right now. Outdoor sump pump systems anywhere in the world, you do not want to put... A check valve in it if you have a discharge line running any you know kind of length if you need to get the water out of somewhere and you have a discharge line that's 75 feet 100 feet you know 150 feet whatever it may be if the check valve goes bad and you're using an indoor basin like you see here once the pump turns off all that water comes out of the discharge line runs back down into the sump pump basin until the float on the sump pump itself turns back on. This keeps repeating over and over and over again. Now remember, an outdoor sump pump system, it's not like having this happen in your basement or your crawl space where you can hear it running. You hear the sump pump running continuously, and you start to recognize, wow, that, that's, that's running a lot. It was running a lot yesterday. Heck, I think it was running a lot the day before. And you go in your basement and you go under your crawl space, you take a look, and you find out that you have something wrong with your check valve because the water just runs back and the pump keeps turning on. Outdoors, you're never going to figure that out because you're not going to be in your yard standing next to your outdoor sump pump system to recognize that this 100-foot discharge that's pumping the water, if you built it with a check valve, the check valve, once it fails, it takes out the sump pump. That's how that works. We don't build with a check valve for that very reason. It's a liability. You get rid of that when it comes to building outdoors. If you want to use a check valve indoors, of course, go ahead and use one indoors. I have one in my house on my basement system. Why not? You know, you're only lifting the water up out of the basement. It's not a big deal. I've had a check valve go bad in my home. The sump pump does turn on sooner because you have the water in the drain tiles filling up, and then you have the water coming back that was in the standpipe to lift the water up out of the basement. But when you're in an outdoor application and you're pumping water a greater distance than just 10 feet, you're going to have all that water 
come right back into your outdoor sump pump basin. When your check valve fails, if you're using like this small indoor, you know, sump pump pit, this is not meant for the outdoors. It never was. You know, guys, handymen, they went ahead and adapted this, and it's, it's really a joke. It's, it's very flimsy. It doesn't hold up to, say, lawnmowers driving over it, anything like that. It can't take it. You know, it's meant to have cement poured around it. These go in a basement or a crawl space, and they have cement poured around them. It does give them more strength when you do that. So look at this sump pump. This keeps pumping the water out, and this failed check valve that we took out of a job when we had to replace an indoor system that was like this. You, you see exactly what's going on. You have a very small sump pump pit. You got a check valve that you're relying on because there's just absolutely no room here for any kind of failure. A check valve is a wear item. When they wear out and they quit, the water just runs back from your discharge line and fills the sump pit again. So there's a few different things that we do to build what we think are the best outdoor sump pump systems for residential use, commercial use, DIY. Here we go. We just pump all the water out again. We have a failed check valve. All right, so let's just put this pump and this discharge line in ours so we can see the difference. All right, so now we have the exact same pump, 100 feet of discharge line, the exact same discharge line, and the exact same failed check valve. Now, I had to speed this up. So this is times two real speed. The reason why I had to speed it up this is not that little tiny unit that belongs in a basement or a crawl space. This is a real outdoor sump pump system. This has a horizontal chamber. It holds a ridiculous amount of water. The reason why it holds a ridiculous amount of water is we don't want our sump pump short cycling. The purpose of this demonstration, we showed you that cheap indoor sump basin versus an outdoor sump system that's chambered. So the pump is pumping probably about 55 gallons per minute right now. Again, this is you know times two real speed, just because I didn't want to bore you guys to tears. If you made it this far, that congratulations, you're learning something. So we have, instead of just a vertical sump, we have a vertical sump with this big horizontal chamber. It holds a lot of water, which means when the pump turns off and the water runs back from this you know, discharge line, because we never use a check valve, ever. Don't have to. We use an outdoor sump system that has a chambered system. That way the water can come back out of the discharge line. It doesn't raise the float much at all because you have this big horizontal chamber. We're displacing such... Okay, right now the pump is pumped down and you're going to see the water come back in from the discharge line. And it's not going to really be much it's not going to amount to much it's not going to turn the sump pump back on like it did in that smaller basin so there's many reasons why we like the horizontal chamber many reasons one just displaces more area more water you're going to you know be able to build without a check valve you never have to worry about that failure of a check valve you get rid of one of the largest components that cause sump pumps to run repeatedly and burn up you just get rid of that altogether you know less is more in so many cases and this is the perfect example so the water has all ran back from that line filled just the bottom of this horizontal chamber it's not very much and that's it now this horizontal chamber does a lot of things it gives you some on-site storage in the event that you have a power outage it gives you the luxury of building without a check valve and look we're pumping the water uphill 100 feet and all that water came back and is just laying in the bottom of that chambered sump pump system and it's not turning the pump back on so really important and then the other plus is if you're in the north where you freeze 
you don't want to use a check valve because it's going to hold water in the line when it is working and you're going to freeze up. So our systems don't freeze up because we don't build them with a check valve. All right, everybody, until that next video.